Radiant Stars, welcome back to our Radiant Home. My name is Rochelle and today I'm going to share with you a grocery haul on a budget. Um, the last Aldi grocery haul I was able to accomplish it under $100. I believe it was like $91 and some change. I'll share the receipt with you guys later. Um, but we're going to go ahead and also make a gluten-free applesauce oat bread. So this is the recipe that we're making today. Hope you can see it. I will also share with you guys the, um, the link in the description below uh, where I found this recipe. Uh, recently we had some like testing done here in our house. Well, not at our house, but you know, with the help of our doctor uh, for some family members and found out that our household has people with quite a few food allergies and one of them being wheat. So I'm incorporating some new gluten-free recipes um, into our household. So I'm gonna have fun sharing that with you guys. I think I have already shared one short with a gluten-free pasta recipe that I'll put in the description along with where I got this recipe from. So we're gonna make that today, but I need to wait for my butter to become room temperature. It's pretty rock solid right now. Oh, and my egg was rolling on the counter, almost fell. <laughs> oh, but yeah, we're gonna make this recipe today and have some yummy gluten-free applesauce bread to eat throughout the week. Um, so I don't actually have applesauce per se. <laughs> um, I do have some of the apple butter that I made before and I have a short on that too. Um, and I'll put that in the description too. Uh, but I'm gonna just use that because my apple butter was a little bit like more of a runnier consistency. Um, I could have probably let it cook a little bit more or you know strained it after I made it, but you know, it still tastes really good. And so we're gonna use that as our placement for applesauce in this recipe. So yeah, let's go ahead and we're gonna make that in a little bit. I'm gonna finish my coffee and we'll bake a little bit together. And then chit chat a little bit more about some changes and things that we have been doing here at our home. So we're switching over to voiceover Rochelle <laughs> to share a grocery haul with you guys. And in all transparency, I did buy these groceries maybe like a week before I made the, the uh, gluten-free applesauce bread, oat bread. Uh, so, you know, at this time when I did do the Aldi grocery haul, I wasn't, I didn't have the full clarification from uh, my daughter's doctor and it's, it's my daughter that has uh, the food allergies and it came up with quite a few of them but I didn't have at that time the confirmation that she did have food allergies that I was suspecting and I honestly have been suspecting for over a year now that my daughter may have quite a few different food allergies. Um, over the summer, uh, we had a couple instances where she was breaking out into hives, and so I really wanted to get that testing done for her, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, so we found out what was going on, and now we can make those adjustments. So this grocery haul, which I'm doing very differently than I've ever done any grocery hauls in the past, I usually laid everything out on the table and showed you guys you know everything that I picked up at the store but this time I'm just doing it real casual putting the groceries up you know like how I normally would do on a regular day when I go grocery shopping just show you guys what I did pick up in between the time that I'm transporting it over to the fridge <laughs> so but yeah it is nice to finally get that clarification that yeah my kiddo has some allergies that we need to, you know, of course, work on in changing our diet here at home. And so that's part of what we're going to be kind of changing around here at our Radiant Home in order to, you know, have the most radiant, healthy bodies. We do need to treat our temple the way that Lord intended. So if our 
you know, immune systems are not handling certain foods well, then it's time to, you know, ease off of those things. So that's what we're going to be working on. Also, you will see later on while I'm making the gluten-free applesauce oat bread that we did have some pizza in the background <laughs> and pizza is definitely not gluten-free but hey it was our final little hurrah and we're gonna be uh, working on doing some cleansing here in our home I recently picked up a great book called The Miracle Kidney Cleanse and that's something else that I would love to incorporate for our home is just cleansing out the body <laughs> there I go dropping things everywhere <laughs> well that's just my nature <laughs> very very clumsy but hey um anyway so to get back to what I was talking about I want to make sure that we are working the best that we can to get the most healthy bodies and you know just honor God with our temples honor ourselves through eating what works well in our system so everybody is unique and different in that way so I think it's great to find out if you do have any suspicions that you may have some food allergies or a family member of yours may you know go ahead and get that tested and just find out it's better to know and be aware of what's going on in your body than to live in that lifestyle of you know, ignorance is bliss because it really is not. So speaking of the ignorance is bliss saying, that basically means if you don't know about something, then you don't really have to worry about it. But in my opinion, I think that's completely false. When I found out about my daughter's food allergies, her healthcare provider suggested that you know, we don't really have to make that many changes to her diet. We just have to be mindful of not giving her too many of her allergy foods um, together so that she wouldn't have a reaction. And then she also then prescribed us an EpiPen. Um, so to me, that is just honestly crazy. I just feel that when it comes to your health if you know about something you know you have a certain sensitivity to foods then you should stop consuming it or start making those changes so that you can have a better functioning body so I just thought that was kind of silly and honestly what I want to do is just slowly incorporate naturally gluten-free foods now I know that a lot of gluten-free convenience foods are not really the most budget friendly and I do like doing things on a budget and buying uh, groceries, you know, for my full family that aren't going to break the bank. <laughs> so we're going to be focusing on the foods that are naturally gluten-free. Now, of course, this grocery haul is kind of contradicting but I figured to still share it with you all um, and also share my thoughts on the subject. So anyway those are my two cents. We're going to be making some changes here shortly and there goes that pizza I was telling you about. <laughs> Um, but yes, we're going to be making some changes here shortly and just incorporating healthier food options. But here we are now starting on making the gluten-free applesauce oat bread. And you guys, when I tell you this bread turned out so delicious, it was so good. My daughter and I uh, started... <laughs> started devouring it right away uh, so we had you know I cut two pieces and literally it's been about three days since we've had this um, gluten-free applesauce bread at our home and it's almost done <laughs> it's so yummy and next time I think I will make it with a little bit less sugar and probably a 
healthier sugar alternative, but I will for sure be making these, making this gluten-free applesauce bread again. Anyway, I'm just gonna, you know, go through the motions of making this with you guys, and of course, I will leave the link to the blog where I saw the recipe, so that way I give credit to the creator. I did not create this recipe, I just followed it, and it turned out really, really good. Have any of you guys gone through the experience of finding out that you or a family member have food allergies? If you have, I would love to hear your experience in the comments below. And also, if you have any great gluten-free recipes that you and your family absolutely enjoy, definitely share that with me as well. I love a good recipe to try. So anything, you know, gluten-free or anything that is, you know, low allergen would be great and honestly very appreciated. Here I'm just showing you guys how I made oat flour. You simply just take your oats, put it in the blender, and whiz it up for a few minutes until it turns into a finer te texture so that it's more like a flour. So it's super easy to make at home. If you have a recipe that calls for oat flour, just make it yourself. You don't have to go run out to the store looking for oat flour, especially if you already have oats in your pantry. So in this kitchen, we are wasting nothing. I had oats already on hand, so I just whipped it up really quickly. And that's a great tip for you guys if, if you ever run into a recipe that calls for oat flour. You guys, I just love being in the kitchen and creating fun new recipes to try. This was such a success in our kitchen and in our home, so I will for sure be making it again. But this is really just my fun pastime. I like to put my headphones on, cook something um, to nourish my family, or bake something, whatever the case may be. But yeah, I just love being in my kitchen. And soon I'll have a new video up on a kitchen declutter. Because even though I love being in my kitchen, I've come to realize that's a little bit cluttered. So I need to start getting rid of some things. There are a couple of things in my cabinets that I really haven't used much. So it's time to let go of the excess. All right, so now we're gonna pop it into the oven. I ended up baking ours for about 45 minutes, and that is my extra oat flour that we have from you know, blending it up, because like I said here, we're wasting nothing, we're saving it for another day. And this is the gluten-free applesauce oat bread. You guys, it was so delicious at first, you know, we didn't wait until it cooled off completely, so it was a little bit of a crumbly texture when we were eating it, which I really didn't mind anyway. 
but if you do let it cool completely it's like it's the perfect texture it's so good and if you're needing you know some help with the gluten-free recipe go ahead and check the description i did leave the link to the blog post where you can find this recipe too anyway enjoy